How did you find us? Barbara called Hal and told him that she had you here and the place was wired to blow. What? Uh, no, I'm sorry. There's no bomb. There's no bomb. It's fine. Well, where's Hal? He's at the state hospital. Make sure that she doesn't get to Will. He knew I was here and he didn't... He didn't... Well, I think it's a good thing he sent me instead under the circumstances, don't you think? Margo. Oh, come on. Don't even say it. But don't say what? Margo, this is not what you think. How dare you stand there in judgment? I am not passing judgments, but I'm not going to stand here and deny that I saw what I saw. Look, what you saw is two people who were afraid that they were never going to get out of here alive. Chris! Oh! Chris, Chris, thank God you're all right. Oh. Did we're, she hurt you? We're fine. Oh, I was so scared that I lost you, buddy. Honey, we're okay. I'm okay. But how did you know that we were here? I overheard the cops. They said that Barbara was in this boathouse. Yes, we raced over. For all you knew, there was still a bomb here. I, I don't care. I had to see you. Okay. Uh, look, thank you. I, I need some air. No, you have to promise that you'll never do this to me ever again. And from now on, I'm not letting you out of my sight. I need it, Emily. I'm not going to forget what I just said. Oh, 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 this is rich. You think you have the right to stand there and lecture me after what you did to Tom? Yeah, it's a small town, Margo. Remember, I run a scandal sheet. You think I wasn't going to find out about you and Doc Reese? But Emily, I'm Hal's friend, and I'm yours, too, if you'll let me be. I know that you don't want to hear what I'm about to say, but I'm going to say it anyway. You keep telling me that you're not going to forget what you saw. That sounds like a threat to me. Well, it's not. I'm not going to run out and tell the world what I saw, all right? Stop worrying. Okay. Well, then don't you worry either, because I know what's at stake here. I know. Do you really? This boy I thought I did, and the whole world blew up in my face. Well, I'm not you. I'm sorry. This is my life. No, no, it's not. It's not just your life. It's Danny's life, too. And he loves Hal. Hal is just as much a father to him as Tom is. You've got this great family. Is this your way of not lecturing me? Because my family, I ripped it apart. I saw what I did to my son. Don't do that to Danny. He's just too little to understand. There's nothing to understand, OK? It was a very intense situation, and things got a little out of control. That's OK, OK? It's it. It's never going to happen again. All right, I know that, that sometimes you feel lonely, and I know that sometimes you feel that you're taken for granted, and sometimes you have no idea why you fell in love with the man you fell in love with. Oh. Hal is stressed. I, I see that. I'm sure he's not a load of laughs to come home to. He's such a good man. He adores you. I man. know he does, okay? I'm not risking my marriage here. I think you're lying to yourself. I think that, that Chris is, too. And I think when you add Allison into that mix, she's your own sister. I mean, don't you see it's the domino effect? Everything in your life will slowly start to fall apart. It's not worth it. That's all I'm saying. But stuff happened when you guys were tied up. Uh, it was Chris. He was amazing. I wanted to panic so badly, and he wouldn't let me. He, uh, he got me to calm down, focus on loosening the ropes, and I did. And I don't think I could have gotten through it without him. And you need to know how lucky you are. You're marrying a great guy, Ellen. See, I keep telling you he's perfect. <laughs> Okay, well, I've got to call into the station. Um, I'm going to have a uniform drive you home, Emily. You know, uh, why don't we take her to the hospital and get her... Oh, no, no, please. For a few rope burns, I'm fine. A glass of wine and a hot bath, I'll be good as new. Is Hal home? He's probably still at the state hospital. Um, I'll give him a call and see if Barbara showed up yet. But you know what? Don't. He's in the middle of an assignment. Just don't, don't call him. I'll meet him at home. I'll be fine. I'm not so sure I want you to get... Be in that house by yourself. I'll lock and the doors. Don't locate Barbara. I'll lock the doors. You can post somebody out in front. You got that. Be careful. I will. And Margot, um, 
Thank you.